I talked openly today to the ladies at the front desk at the YMCA about how the racquetball courts at the YMCA seem to be one of the most underused resources in the YMCA. I've been here a lot, a lot, and I've never seen anyone playing racquetball yet. Apparently, there's some dudes that come in and play racquetball on their lunch break, and it's getting close to 10.35 now. I just had a heck of a workout in the weight room, and I decided to talk to the ladies at the front desk about having this be my meditation and zen zone after a hard workout. I asked Garrison if I could borrow some of his bricks. He said yes, so I got a little robot here with a little tripod on it that my sweetheart got for me. So I'm hoping that someday I can put this camera into this tripod right here and then it can uh, film me while I am going to work. Now what does that mean exactly? Well, I do have my jump ropes in my backpack here, or my, I should say in my duffel bag. I spend a lot of time jumping rope, and when I am jumping rope, usually what I'm doing is I'm thinking. Is it pretentious to use this unoccupied space to set up a tripod, set up a camera, to jump rope, and capture my thoughts on film as I'm jumping? Perhaps. The thing is, I just noticed up there people could walk by and say hi, and people could walk by and observe what I'm doing. So if I have my camera set up there, there's a good chance I'm gonna film some passers-by walking by. So just looking around my little cubicle here, I think the best place to set up the camera is here instead of there, and just, just have it pointing this way. That way, nobody walking above gets filmed by accident, because that is not what I'm trying to do. Not what I'm trying to do at all. <sighs> Will it be embarrassing? For other people, yes. I'm sure there'll be some people that are walking up above that walkway, seeing me doing what I'm doing, jumping rope in the middle of this room, talking to myself, and have immediate cringe phobia going on. One of the fears that I grappled with the most in my life in trying to overcome it is what would I do if you know society decided they needed to put me in a room like this and keep me away from everybody. That's something that I've really, really grappled with for a long, long, long time. And that thought does not scare me anymore. You know what does scare me though? I don't know. If someone can think of something that would scare me, let me know so I can face it. <laughs>